place. Hmm. It smells like You're an outlander. Smelled before. Nora from the look of you. Is that so? I bet you're a machine hunter too. I've hunted my share. Well, let me give you a word of advice. Don't bother with the hunter's lodge. If you're not Karja, you'll never rise in the ranks. What's wrong with the hunting lodge exactly? Nothing, if you like stuck up bigots. I'm known as a skilled hunter back home in Banur, so I thought I'd try my luck at the lodge. I thought it'd be simple. Hunt machines, gain ranks, see who's best. But it doesn't work like that at all. It's all rigged to keep the Karja at the head of the line. <laughs> I don't need those snobs to tell me I can hunt. I'm going home. Are you saying that you have to be Karja to join the lodge? No, they take other tribes. But they have rules in place to keep outlanders from gaining ranks. When Sun King Avad took over, he promised the new day, Meridian open to all. But it's a sham. Sure, you can get a seat at the feast, but you just can't eat the food. Sounds like someone needs to shank things up at the lodge. Maybe, but it isn't gonna be me. If you decide to go, be sure to give them a good old-fashioned Banuk farewell mark in my honor. A Banuk farewell mark? What's that? Piss on the floor. Preferably someplace they won't find it until it gets nice and sour. What did you want to discuss? You're an outlander, which is good, but a Nora, which might be bad. Do you fear the ruins of the Old Ones like many in your tribe? No, although some can be dangerous. Then you may have come across what I seek. In your travels, have you found strange vessels emblazoned with symbols of the Old Ones? They consist of a hollow cylinder with a crescent handle affixed at both ends. If you bring me these vessels in sets of four, I will gladly trade what I have for them. So you're interested in the old ones? More than interested. I study every ancient artifact I can get my hands on. But years of study have made me too comfortable at my desk. I can't even bear the sun if the truth be known. I don't know how I'll manage to take a partner. My family presses me for an heir. Uh, don't look at me. Oh, no, 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 I'm, I'm not looking. In fact, my father already has someone he wants me to wed. She doesn't interest me. I wish I had a brother to carry this burden. I would rather be left to my precious little vessels. What sort of ritual were these vessels made for? I'm convinced they were used in conjunction with each other in sets. Some people believe they were used for tea ceremonies. Others think they held sacred essences and oils for worship. But I believe they were used for the solemn custom of shaving one's beard. One for water, one for lotion, and so on. Each fluid in its special vessel, majestically applied to the face at each stage of the rite. It must have been breathtaking. But which vessel was used for which? I have to know. I have to continue my research. Are you sure people didn't just drink out of them? Drink? Out of such finely crafted earthenware? Don't be ridiculous! Yes, yes, trade quickly. I have work to do. I will leave you to the hunt. Be sure to delve into the ruins. Perhaps your travels have taken you through ancient ruins? Check out these Let us speak of it. Never broken bread. Don't you forget there. to stop Can out you help before me? you're on the road. You with the second sight, I... You're the one the Vanguard has been crowing about. The Nora who tracks criminals and traitors with her second sight. If only you'd use it to help me. A thief raided my home and took my brother's sword. Tell me about the robbery. Don't leave anything out. It was brazen and professional. 
They took only the sword, my most valuable possession. The thief went out through the window and scared the shadow off my steward. Otherwise, it would have been a clean getaway. Why would someone steal the sword? It's priceless. Made from the burnished antler of a lancehorn, finely inlaid with studded stones all down the... Uh, okay, I get it. Forgive me. That's not even why it's important. The Twelfth Sun King gave it to my brother for his military service. He was killed in battle during the liberation. I was saving it for my nephew who stranded at Sunfall with the Karja in shadow. How did your nephew wind up in Sunfall? Most of the old clergy backed the Mad Sun King, so when he fell, they ran out of fear of retribution. As an honor guard to a venerable priest, my nephew had no choice but to go with them. Now that my brother is gone, my nephew is my heir, so that sword really belongs to him. And after all he's been through, I won't be able to look him in the face if I don't get it back. I'll see what I can do about the robbery. Have a word with my steward if you need to. He saw the thief escape, and listen. All I want is the sword back. Meridian, and my family for that matter, has seen enough strife already. If I can get it back, all is forgiven. No retribution necessary. Any news about my sto stolen sword? Not yet. I'll see what I can do. You'll like what I have for sale, I promise. It will cost you a shard to buy what you need to leave the rest. Nora. I'm the mournful Naman. My apologies that we meet like this. Like this? In grief. You hold yours close, like a talisman. Wait, forgive me. You didn't come for reparations? Someone you lost to the Sunring? Oh, uh, no. I know about the Red Raids, but the Karja owe me nothing. I see. Well. I could use the help of a strong-willed outlander, then I would owe you very much indeed. These people seek to honor their loved, their lost, with their own voices, not mouthing Karja rituals to Karja stone. But there are obstacles. And while Meridian holds his breath for any disturbance, these robes only tie my hands. What kind of obstacles? The first pilgrim is an Asaron, who seeks to visit the Shrine of Kings on the road to the city. He waits there now, forbidden to enter by an old sun priest who suffer no heathen. This Utaro lost her companion on the edge of the jewel, at a pool where snap moths gather. The shrine was built there to ward off the machines, and its effectiveness leaves much to be desired. And the Manuk would paint a mark on the sun's climb, Call to the machine spirits, I understand. They need no beckoning. Flint hawks perched there, drawn to the spires shining. So clear the machines out of two shrines and move a priest out of the other. 
All I can ask for is your charity and that their stories are heard. Naman, rituals and prayers can't bring back those who are lost. No, but it can help those who grieve to find themselves. It can lend them strength and hope, like a new sunrise. I didn't think your priesthood would ask outsiders for help. If only the sun would set on our pride. Until this is done, I am no sun priest. To wear a red robe was an aspiration. I aspired. Now our hoods make us blind. We whisper reconciliation, but forget how the old king's priests sang the words and blessed the killing. The killing? You mean the red raids? Yes. And the sacrifices that came after. Why did the priests go along with all that bloodshed? Sometimes we Karja are more concerned with what is tradition than what is right. Huh. Maybe the Karja and Nora aren't so different. You're disappointed with the Sun Priests, but you still wanted to be one? I spent my whole life looking up to the temple. My brother's voice echoing in his arches. Even he couldn't turn me away, and how he tried, in the end. He said, when we were loved, our robes were dyed in cinnabar. Now they are stained in blood. How so? Our robes are handed down to us. Most of the old priests fled rather than be seen in the glare of a new sun. And so we are left to wear their sins. For me, at least, they hang heavy. Where is your brother now? He waits for me on the trail of the sun, I hope. He spoke out against the sacrifices. For a priest to question the Sun King's will, his punishment was worst of all. You lost someone you loved, too. I'm sorry. No, not lost. When I took on these robes, I found his memory. I'll do what I can to help those in mourning. To honor their memories is to honor us all. Name's Vilgun. Did you come to the city looking for work? Oh, good shards. Enough to buy garb more becoming of your... Okay, stop there, if you want me to hear you out. I, I only meant uh, a well-molded woman such as you. Uh, <clears throat> I heard an interesting rumor about a Banuke camp. Tame machines, the rumor said. So I... Uh, I hired men to investigate. To just investigate, that's all. Those Banuk are canny. Too canny. I paid up front. Well, uh, half up front. I I've had no word back. So now you're hiring someone to find the last men you hired. <laughs> They're a sunk cost. This rumor's worth more to me. So is there any more to the rumor about this camp? <laughs> The last bunch just wanted to know about the reward. Hey, you're a smart one. This camp isn't even big enough for a name up where the snow won't thaw. They say the Banuk there live alongside machines. Peaceful as you like. Keep them, use them, sing to them. If it's true, if we learn how they do it, think how valuable that would be to all the tribes. When you say valuable, you mean they'd pay you for it? Girl, I'm not made of straw. What can you tell me about the Banuk? The Banuk women. Snow witches all. Cold eyes, cold... <clears throat> they choose to live up there in Ban Ur, in the ice. Trying to have a conversation, it's like chipping them out of the stuff. They prefer machines for company. 
That's why I'm putting my shards on this rumor. Then they might not want outsiders to know about this place. <laughs> Their mystic act. No care for possessions, for luxuries. Pile of slag. Those people bargain harder than the winter frost. Are you some kind of merchant? You don't seem to have any wares. Mm, more of an explorer. But you send other people to do your exploring. <clears throat> All right, more of an opportunist. Uh, girl, uh, Nora girl, <clears throat> Huntress. We live in a world of opportunities, risky opportunities. But why should risk stand in the way of a lucrative prospect for the likes of me? All right, I'm more of a gambler. If I did look into your rumor... You won't need to climb up the shoulders of the world for it. <laughs> It's on the edge of Banuk land, beneath the anvil of the moon. And you look like you know your way around the savage east. Uh, um, the east. If it's true they walk among machines without fear in this camp, well, you can't miss that, can you? Payment on return. Don't bother me, Outlander. I don't need a mercenary, I need a miracle. Someone who can tell me who slaughtered my men. I'm a good tracker. Maybe I can help. What happened? Mass murder. That's what. Five night guards shredded like cabbage out there in the quarry. Five men murdered? How? Don't know. One was a buddy from before the liberation. We worked this quarry together as slaves for the Mad King. My friend, may he walk forever in the light, knew how to fight. Fiends who did this must have had stealth or numbers. Could machines have killed them? Don't see how. The quarry is fenced and gated, and I've never seen a glint hawk do anything like this. Anything strike you as strange or out of the ordinary? Well, let's see, uh... Oh yeah, chunks of corpses, gushing blood. <sighs> Sorry. Pressure's getting to me. Not used to murder. Nah, nothing unusual. Well, except we've been doing a little blasting lately, and Saravad said, No, that's just stupid. You've been using explosives? Sure! To clear away bedrock and get to the good stuff, we do it for a week or so every year. But that's got nothing to do with the dead. They were torn apart, not blown up. What exactly did Saravad say? Ah, nothing. Kept babbling about a pile of rocks out there. Said he didn't remember it from yesterday. I told him that this here is a quarry where we move rocks all day. So rocks getting moved ain't so surprising, lunkhead. I'll have a look around the quarry. If you think it'll help. Oh, that's nice. Glad I 
rest up for a bit. Where did this mound come from? Oh boy, you're a big one, aren't you?
I've never seen a machine like that. Whoa! Nor a hunter so bold. Take this. It's from the quarry stores, but no one's gonna argue that you don't deserve it. May you walk in the light, friend. Especially when dealing with what comes up from the ground. This isn't up to their usual standard. with a merchant's yeah. daughter. Sunset for this one. You're done soon enough.
We have a problem! ancient things back to life. Their power serves us. Machine demons from beneath the ground. It's a nightmare. Nightmares, yes. The worst dreams of our enemies come true. Yes, rise. will destroy us all! They will only destroy our enemies and bring us back the lands that were... Ah! 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 Stop working. Search the area. We may have intruders. Forgive this intrusion, Aloy. You left me no choice. <laughs> Who is this? An interested party. Now, the focuses are disabled, but I don't know for how long. The rest is up to you. Who is this? The Nora girl lives. Kill her! No, you had your chance. Ah! 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 Ah!
promise. I'll tell you everything. I know you will. The killers who came for me at the Proving, who are they? The Eclipse. Some kind of holy warriors. A cult of the Shadow Karja. Shadow Karja? Except they're not like any Karja I've known. They don't pray to the sun. They worship some kind of devil. I'm not interested in their superstitions. Oh, it's not a superstition. Their devil is real. It has a name, a voice. The most terrible voice. And they do its bidding. You say this devil, the Eclipse Worship, has a name? Hades. That's what they call it. Hades. And you've heard it speak? Steal to my soul. I heard. Just once, when it saw you. Such a voice. A cold, awful jangle. It scrapes your bones. It hollows your guts. A metal sound. But like nothing dug from the earth or smelted in a forge. And what did it say? System threat detected. Just three words. But in the voice of a devil. What are these Eclipse cultists after, besides me? They never said. But given the Karja's civil war, they must want to overthrow Sun King of Odd and take Meridian back. What do I have to do with that? I don't know. When they attacked the Proving, a man came for me. Tall, strong, dead eyes. He is. And who is he? The Terror of the Sun. Stacker of corpses, we Osram called him, when he was the Mad Sun King's champion. <sighs> If only he died with his king. But now he leads the Eclipse. I tell you, he's the most dangerous man alive. How did the Eclipse recruit you? I know they took your family hostage, but why you? I was a scrounger, a rummager in dark places, good at what I do. I suppose they knew I would serve them well as a scout. I had taken a delve near Maker's End. When I surfaced, they were waiting. I laughed when I saw the priest, but then he showed me Helis's encouragement. I didn't laugh after that. They gave me a focus to watch my every move. I followed orders. You had access to Meridian. Why didn't they get to Avad through you? Too much dirt under my nails for an audience with the one true Sun King. But whatever Ursa or Aaron told me, the Eclipse heard every word through my focus. That's why I couldn't warn you. If I tried, they would have killed my family. Why are the Eclipse digging up ancient machines? And how do they get them to work? I thought they wanted them for scrap, but they brought them back to life. Plugged some kind of device into the corpses so that Hades could whisper to them and call them from their grave. I've fought that kind of machine before. Are there others? Yes. The ones you fought today they call Corruptors, but there are others. Much bigger, bristling with ancient weapons. Those they call Deathbringers. I've only seen them buried in the ground, but after today, anything is possible. Sounds to me like they're raising an army. If so, the world will fall. And I helped dig the pit. The Eclipse were sent to kill me because I look like another woman. Older, maybe twice my age, short hair. Who is she? I don't know. My focus found her image once, in the ruins at Maker's End. Maybe you can find her there. You found her image in the ruins? How? There was a door, beside it, a kind of ancient device that contained the woman's image. My focus recorded the location. You do look like her. Is she your mother? I'm the one asking questions. I've heard enough. It's time to finish this. I won't beg for my life. But if there's any mercy in you, free my family. Please. Where would I find them? My focus recorded the location. There are always guards there. You look like you can handle yourself. All this time I tracked you down. I thought this decision would be simple. It's not. Your... Your role in events was coerced. Perhaps you're not an evil man, just a weak one. I am. 
the only strength I ever found in this life was my family. Death is what you've earned. <sighs> and yet... I know what I deserve, Aloy. You shouldn't hesitate. It will take many good deeds to make up for the crimes you've committed. You're sparing me? After all I've done? Yes. Forge a new life, Olin. One of better make. Then the rest of my life will be lived in your debt. Go to the place where your family is being held and wait for me. We'll make their lives the first ones you save. I didn't earn this mercy, but I will die to make myself worthy of it. I will be waiting for you. Forget about traveling light. He built all this.
lost. I'll, uh, I'll just take this off. Don't want him listening in. Frost, I'm... I'm, I'm sorry I, I didn't come sooner. When you said goodbye, I told you I'd find you. Track you down. Well, looks like you did it after all. Went somewhere I can't follow. I should have known you'd be watching. At the proving. Looking out for me. There for me when no one else was. Like always. One last time. Thank you, Rost. I won't waste what you've given me. I promise. I'll make you proud. I found Owen. Made him tell me everything. Which was a lot. The killers are... some kind of cult. The Eclipse. Their leader. Helis. He's the one... who killed you. When you stopped from killing me. Um, Olin said they worshipped some kind of devil named Hades. A buried shadow, whatever that means. They're raising ancient machines from the ground. Corruptors. And that's gotta stop. Olin said I could learn more about the woman I look like in the ruins at Maker's End. As for Olin, I... I spared him. I know he deserved to die, but... His hand was forced. His family is in danger. So I'm gonna save them. Olin said I could... As for all, his family is... Well, I... I should be on my way to Maker's End. Until next time.
Not too much already. me. This must be bomb's camp. Better clear out those watchers. Blood, but no body. There's gotta be more to this. Looks like a few drops of blood lead away from the camp. Whose knife is this? Did someone attack Brom with it? Looks like more blood leading away from here. There, a bucket. Did someone bring the blood to the camp? The trail of blood ends here. But whoever left it must have also left tracks.
That's twisted. I wonder if the blood from the camp came from this boar. If Brom did this, why does he want people to think he's dead? And why desecrate the shrine? Like it was a watcher. Whoever I'm following made short work of it. If it's Brom, he definitely knows how to handle a spear. Get out of this. supplies. Brom was an outcast for a long time. Why take food and gear now? <clears throat> it's the supplies from the cache. Why would they take them and just throw them away? I promise. I'll jump. I will. I'll, I'll kill myself. I'll kill myself before I hurt her. I will. I'll, I'll kill myself. I'll kill myself before I hurt her. You, you're not a spirit. What do you want? I want you to step away from the edge, Brom. No. Leave me alone. Can't you see I need time to think? I, how, how, how am I supposed to think when everybody is shouting at me? I'm not shouting. I know you're a good listener. So come listen to me, just as you would the others. They... they say not to listen. <laughs> but... Alara always said, never ignore a speaker I can see. <laughs> All right. I'll hear you out. That's better. Now tell me, what's troubling you? Spirits of the forgotten. Souls cursed by the All-Mother. Their voices never let me be. They want me to do things, hurt people. If I go back to the Nora, they might make me hurt Alara. And I, I'll kill myself before I let that happen. Do you have to listen to the spirits, Brom? They're speaking to me right now. Always with me. They take care of me, keep me company, help me. Except when they scream. Like when that hunter knocked me down. Crush your skull with the rock, they said. And I did. Brom. 
You're alive. Oh, mother be praised. I'm sorry I followed you, but I had to make sure he was all right. No, 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 no. Please, sister, I, I, I can't protect you. I need no protection from you, Rom. He fears these spirits that he hears will turn him against you. Unless your voice can quiet them? Yes. Just as it was before. He only ever hurt someone once, and it was provoked. I... I don't want to hurt you. But the Forgotten, their... their whispers, they... they fill my head with screams. Brahm isn't ready to return to the Nora. But I don't think he'll hurt you a lot. There's a place where I can stay. A cave on All Mother Mountain. I suppose you could visit me there, so long as I'm strong. You will be, Brom. I'll help you. Thank you, Roy. I'll take care of him now. May you walk in All Mother's eternal memory. And may the Forgotten leave you be. must be done.